616 and time now for what's trending. An unexpected banking error temporarily turns a Louisiana family into one of the richest in the world. At one point or another, most of us have dreamed of checking our bank accounts and finding them in a, are just flushed with mountains of money. Well, it actually happened to Louisiana real estate agent Darren James, who was blown away when he realized his family's account had suddenly grown by $50 billion. James confirmed himself and then immediately informed Chase Bank, which reportedly took roughly four days to correct the error. That's a long time to stare longingly at that many zeros, but James said it didn't matter if it was a billion dollars or just 50, the money wasn't theirs and there was never a question of giving it back. Still, for a few fleeting days, the error had made them one of the richest families in the world. <laughs> and oh my goodness, I mean, that's just, I think this is really a test of people's character and I don't know how mine would be. I don't know how I would feel if I woke up and that much money was in my account. I mean, of course you would be alarmed, right? But then at the same time, it's like, so, you know, I'm, it's not like I don't need some money. So I would, like, <laughs> can we just leave a little bit there? No, but yeah, um, I, mean, I, I don't know how you would react to that. How would you react to that, Devin? I would probably be shell shocked. I would, I would probably be looking at the screen and be like, be on what the, and probably order some words I can't say on the no, air. Don't but, say but, but no, I mean, I mean, who wouldn't? Because yeah. it's like, whoa, I mean, $50 billion just That's like that. I mean, you'd be like, what in the world right. happened here? So it's like, that's really, I mean, it's, I mean, it's like, oh, hey, I got money, but wait, where, how did this happen? That does yeah. not seem right. So, so, I mean, that's, it goes to show that people's consciences do work and they were, and they, and they got the error sorted out. I mean, honestly, that happened to me. I would probably do the same thing, call the bank and be like, uh, something right. happened. Yeah, I think, I mean, honestly, though, they could have given them a little, you know, a little change for being honest. Okay. We don't always run into honest people like that. I mean, if somebody saw, I know there's plenty of people, if they saw that, they would not report it right away. They would just say, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> but I mean, either way, I guess you might have to, you know, figure that out because you might get in trouble. So. Yeah. I mean, you might get, you might get in trouble. and yeah. might It'll come back to bite you eventually if you just let it go or something like that. So right. that's why I just tell the truth. It's supposed to be like, hey, something weird happened. It wasn't my fault. And we just noticed this and just want to be honest and fix it. And who knows? Maybe they did get some reward for it. I mean, the story doesn't say it. But I, I mean, who knows? Maybe they did get a little bit of a, hey, thank you for being honest. Here's some money for that. So, right. hey, you never know, though. But speaking of money, um, uh, really someone got some cool value. An 82-year-old woman will get her chance to view space after she trained to be an astronaut, get this, 60 years ago. Thursday Blue Origin announced Wally Funk will take the fourth spot on next month's inaugural crewed flight of its new Shepard spacecraft. She will make the suborbital trip with Blue Origin's founder Jeff Bezos and his brother. Bezos posted this picture on Instagram to make the announcement and Funk trained with NASA's Mercury program. That, that was a ways back in 1960s and those spacecrafts were small too, but, did, but they, she didn't get the chance to go in, into space. She logged nearly 20,000 flying hours as a pilot and has taught more than 3,000 people how to fly. She will now fly as an honored guest when New Shepard launches on July 20th. The third crew member is an auction winner who bid over $28 million for the opportunity. That person's name hasn't been revealed and it mentions millions of dollars in this story. So a little bit less money than the billions of dollars in the previous story, Sierra. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I think this is so cool though. You know, she's obviously, you know, put in the work and she's been a part of, um, you know, something that is just legendary uh, years ago. And so for the opportunity for just to really all pay off and then she gets the chance to go and, and also see all of the technology that's advanced, um, getting to space. I mean, that's just really been a huge topic lately, I feel like too. Um, so it's so awesome. You know, you only live once. You have to do, you know, you got to live it up. So I'm happy for her. Exactly. I'm happy for her too. I mean, a lot, a lot has changed since the 1960s, including technology to be able to yeah. take people into space like that. I mean, there's plans to take uh, people back to the moon and of course to Mars. Our technology has changed so much to be able to, we can analyze the moon in such a new way. So I don't know about you, Sierra, but I think that would be really cool. Yeah, no, it's, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see uh, how her trip ends up. Yeah. Um, but speaking of taking off, you know, sometimes there's moments when you really got to take off to the bathroom. And people in one European capital have come up with the answer to a very personal problem when you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> Finding a nearby public toilet is now easier than ever in Brussels, Belgium. Thanks to a new mobile app, anyone with an Android phone can locate all of the public toilets in and around the 
the city. They named the app Peasy, <laughs> and, I'm sorry, <laughs> and it uses GPS to find nearby toilets and list details like opening hours, accessibility, and whether it has a changing table. In addition, the app developers added a review feature so users can rate the facilities on safety and cleanliness. The app was developed on a voluntary basis by a collective of citizens, street nurses, and a local research university. <laughs> this is too, too funny. And you know, I know it's all the way, it's, it's in uh, Brussels right now, but I think this should definitely be a worldwide app, okay? Because I know there's so many times when you're on the road and you just gotta go, but you don't know where to go. And then you think about, well, is this clean enough? And you think about, you know, uh, maybe how many people are there or the hours, or you try to go and then it's not open. I've experienced all of that and it's so, <laughs> so devastating. So I think this is hilarious. Yeah, it's completely hilarious. I mean, it, it's like, why? You almost wonder at the same time, why wouldn't we think of that before? Right. I mean, it's like relate to the game. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like, hey, I mean, I mean, people. To, I mean, Northwoods is full of touristy people, so and tourist areas. So I mean, it would be smart to see where public bathrooms are at. I know people explore, yeah. for example, Manaqua a lot. So and I know they got people need to find public bathrooms there, and maybe this could be an app for a good part of the Northwoods and many, many other touristy areas. So while very funny because we've never heard of it, but. I can see this taking off and maybe it should. <laughs> yeah, I would totally download PZ in, a, in an instant because like I said, I've experienced those moments when it's just, you really gotta go and you can't, it's just awful. So that's really funny there. Yeah, right. <laughs>